here's my thoughts y'all i pray that you're well doing amazing feeling amazing holding on a hope and faith when you're in a relationship or a relationship of any kind it's kind of like you're in a game right so you're in you're, you're playing the game but the main objection of the game is to win it right it's to score it's to do your best is to shake things up do things differently you know if you see yourself losing the game you're in it you're putting in work you prepare for it all that you're in the game so when you're in these relationships marriages whatever toxic environments with family whatever you're holding up the game. Can't nobody play. Can't nobody play. You're holding up the game. That's missed opportunities. That's missed people. That's missed networking. That's missed possibly passing up the person that got had. Come on. You're holding up the game. Can't nobody make a move. So, for me, it was a 13-year marriage. Well, I think it was a 12-year marriage together for 13. Any, either way it go, I feel like we didn't held the game up too long. So, now it's time to start making moves. Like I was saying yesterday, it's, it's, it's time to start making plays. Plays have to be made. We're trying to win the game. And so if the partner that you are with, the family member that you are dealing with, the environment you're dealing with, that teacher, that job, that boss, come on. I'm making plays because I want a different life for myself and I am suffering the consequences of not doing it God's way. You want to know some trill trill? These are consequences that I'm experiencing and I don't like it. I don't like it. It literally actually makes me sick to my stomach. I vomit, literally. After we got into that physical dispute and my kids witnessed and heard what, what was going on, that literally, I literally went around the corner because I was so sick and embarrassed. I went around the corner and threw up, literally. Literally, I want a different life for my kids. These are the, I'm seeing some of the consequences. God is telling us to do certain things for our benefit. The things that he's trying to tell us to do, it is not to hurt us, it is only to prosper us. And if we don't do it his way, we're gonna have to suffer consequences. I'm suffering consequences. I'm suffering consequences. I'm here, I'm alone, I'm raising these kids. It is not a game. <laughs> it's not a game. <laughs> I am suffering consequences. So now I gotta go back to the drawing board, get the instructions again, uh, read the manual, uh, come on. Yes. The instructions in the manual is the Bible. Go back, rewind, because some of the consequences I'm experiencing right now is absolutely no. 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 God is telling us certain things for our benefit. And that's the conversation I was having with my cousin for our benefit. <laughs> No sex. No sex. No sex before marriage. No sex. Real talk, y'all. Close your legs. Raise the bar. We've settled for too long. Raise the bar. Allow somebody to get to know you, your inner parts and not inner parts. Okay? But inner parts, the inner part of you, the most precious parts that God created, 
people don't deserve that so easily. They don't. They don't. And what a disservice to us. What a disservice to us. Come on, y'all. We, if you want to be honest, are sometimes the fools. Baby, you's a fool. You the one keep going back, going back, going back. It's like a dog returning to his own vomit. Girl, what are you doing? You really actually living and seeing what this Bible is talking about. Baby, what? Okay. So now here we are. Consequences. Consequences. There's always going to be consequences because God is trying to show us. Show us the way. The right way. No. I don't like. I want a husband. I want a man in my house. I want a spiritual leader, a minister. Yeah. This is not what I wanted, ever wanted for my life. But because I put my hands in it, I didn't take it to God. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I did not close my legs. I did not keep myself before marriage. I mean, we gotta, you got to be real with yourself. It's always, yes, you can change in the middle of it. But it takes two willing people willing to go before God and humble themselves. Come on now. Two willing participants to go before God. If you are in a relationship and you think it could be going somewhere, stop right now at this very moment and stop having sex. Right now at this very moment. Oh, we've been together two years. We've already been having sex. It doesn't matter. Stop. See what happens if you don't just so easily give yourself away to somebody. See what happens. See if he's willing to get creative and learn you better. There are so many other things that you can do in a relationship besides have sex. Yes, we're human, whatever, but come on now. Sex is just the cherry on top. There are so many other layers and ingredients that goes into that thing. Quit playing. We been playing. I know I have, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. My name is Shantara Brown, and I have been playing. I have cheated myself. I have accepted things that I know I do not deserve as a woman and or a child of God. I'll admit that. And at this very moment, I'm going to say no more. No freaking more. I'm done. I said that yesterday. I'm still done. I'm still done. I was done yesterday and I'm done today. Y'all, I told y'all I was going to put my hair in these little crochets. I got five braids under here. Got my edges out so we can keep all of them bad babies. Y'all know I got a big forehead, but. But yeah, y'all. Yes, guys. This is just a morning talk, morning coffee talk. Everybody is still asleep, and I'm just so grateful because I thought we had to go back to the hospital last night. My sister is here because I thought I was gonna have to take her, but we I think we turned a corner. She's saying the pain has, you know, starting to leave her chest, and you know been dealing with that too so but yeah y'all come on i want what god has for me come on and i don't want to be like and this is another thing i wanted to say you know how people say like goals goals relationship goals like i want to be my own goal like i don't want to be nobody else's goal you know how like the bible says god will do a new thing I want my new thing. I don't want what somebody else has. Like, yes, it's encouraging. Yes, it can be inspiring. But your relationship or your marriage is not a goal for me. My relationship and my marriage is going to be my own goal to exceed and, you know, continue to grow in that relationship. How God makes and molds me to do. So that's my new thing. I don't No. You're not my goal. I'm my goal. 
my relationship is my goal. My relationship is my... Uh, come on. So, that is it, y'all. I pray that you guys have a good Sunday. I'm cleaning up this mess. Getting these boxes and stuff out. Y'all got me a Keurig and I think I am just so grown. That's what I was in here doing. Drinking my coffee. With the little Keurig I got over there. And I'm making the kids breakfast. I didn't, I didn't know I was... I thought I was grown. I was like, oh, I'm grown, I'm grown, I'm grown. But now I got me a Keurig. I'm like, oh, I wasn't grown. I'm grown with a Keurig. So enjoy your Sunday, you guys. And if any of these losers try to contact you, you tell them you are officially the weakest link. So until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you.